Blessed be everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel today. I wanted to talk about mantra, magic and chanting. But before we do, I'm Sandra from mysterywitchschool.com, author of Crafting Your Wiccan Path. And if you want to do just that, or just enjoy learning more about Wicca and witchcraft, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you don't miss any videos. And if you want to know where to start your witchcraft practice, have a look at my free video, How to Start Your Witchcraft Practice. The link is in the description field below this video. I haven't done a video about mantra and chanting before and it's it's such a powerful way to help you with your magic and to get you into the, the energy of your magic. So I thought uh, it was time to do a video about it. Mantra itself is used a lot in a lot of various different uh, religions and chanting is used and the reason it, it's used is for a number of uh, outcomes. One is to get you into a nice trance state so that you calm your nervous system, you're in an alpha wave state. It's a bit like drumming, it, it, it gets, just gets you into a rhythmic state. And when your nervous system is relaxed and when you're more connected to your subconscious mind, which is what the relaxation does, you're more connected to your purpose and your intention and connected to opening up to putting your petition, your magic, your request out into the universe to have fulfilled. Mantra can be used to work with a particular deity so that you're bringing in the energy of that deity into your life. You can use mantra to connect to the deity so that you become an expression of that deity throughout your, your day, throughout your life. So take, you take on uh, their aspects. You can use mantra for a spell itself. So if you're, whether you're using a deity or working with a deity, I should say, or you're not working with a deity, you can still use the mantra to put the energy of your intention out into the universe. And it's that repetition that really helps. It's the vibration. When you're chanting, you're vibrating. You're using your throat chakra to communicate your intention in the world. You're working through your throat chakra to express what it is that you're wanting to bring into the world. You're using your throat chakra to communicate to the deities or the spirits that you're working with in your magic. When it comes to magic or mantra in the West, our Western system, whether it's Wicca or just witchcraft in general, we don't have the history that other cultures have with mantra, such as in the Hindu culture or with Buddhism, where they use mantra a lot and have for a very long time. There's a lot of energy around their mantras and they're very, very powerful mantras. So as, as witches and pagans in the Western system, we've kind of got to make up our own. And one of the ways that has always been traditional within the witchcraft is our witchcraft chants, our spells. So we have these, usually a rhyming spell. The very first one I ever did when way back in the very early 1990s, when I first started learning about witchcraft was a money chant from Scott Cunningham's book, The Truth About Witchcraft Today. So this is going way back into the 90s. And I still remember that chant. It was money flow, money shine, money grow, money's mine. And just by repeating that short phrase over and over and over and over and over and over and over again, you're tuning into the energy of the money. You know, money flow, money shine, money grow, money's mine. Money flow, money shine, money grow, money's mine. Money flow, money shine, money grow, money's mine. And when you're building up a rhythm, building up an energy and vibrating your intention at the same time. So when you're doing mantra or chanting, it can be really simple, just like that simple chant. It's four lines long. It's, I think it's two words per, per line. And it's easy, it's simple, it rhymes. You can build up a rhythm. You can drum while you're doing it. You can put that energy into a candle. So when you're saying your chant, if you've got a candle, and you're doing candle magic, you can chant into the candle. So you're, the vibration of your voice is going into the candle and vibrating it. If you're doing a sigil, the vibration of your chant can go into the sigil. 
The same if you're doing a magic bag, like a mojo bag, you can be vibrating your chant into your bag and into a talisman or an amulet. It's, it's that vibration. And re the repetition aspect is something we're not used to doing in Western culture. We're not used to doing thousands of mantra in order to achieve something. In the Buddhist tradition, they will do thousands of a mantra to have things happen. Like if they want to help somebody with healing, so somebody may have uh, a chronic uh, disease or something, they will chant for hours to raise the energy and send the, int the intention out into the universe through vibration to help that person with their healing. We can do this too. We, we can get used to being patient and using the vibration and the mantra a number of times to really build up that energy. And it does work. It helps you feel into the mood. It helps you feel into the groove of your intention. It enlivens your energy. It's almost like when you hear drumming and you want to move with the drumming, you want to get into the rhythm and your whole body starts to get into the rhythm of it, then you're really putting that intention out there. You're putting the energy into your talisman or your mojo bag or your candle and you're just really, really getting it rocking. So play with the idea of chant. Uh, they can, it could be two lines or two words. You can repeat two words over and over and over again or it can be uh, four words or six words <laughs> or eight words. As long as they have a flow and a rhythm, they don't necessarily have to rhyme, just a flow and a rhythm. Similar to that example that I gave you from the old Scott Cunningham days when I was a, a newbie witch playing around with doing magic and not really having a clue what I was actually doing, <laughs> to be honest with you. Uh, but uh, it, it worked. It didn't work as well as I wanted it to. Like I, my income did increase, but it wasn't by much because I just didn't really know what I was doing at the time. So anyway, if you do want to know what you're doing and if you do want to learn witchcraft uh, with me, if you want to learn wickle with me, do have a look at that video, how to start your witchcraft practice. I do also run a 12 month course in Wicca that of course involves um, the magical side of it as well as the, the sacred side of it and that bringing your spirituality into your life on an everyday basis so that you have it there to be with you through the, the good times and the not so good times. So if you're interested in learning Wicca with me, uh, have a look at the Mystery Witch School 101 course. Uh, that's also, there's a link to that in the description field below this video as well. If you like the video, hit the like button, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe. I'm Sandra from mysterywitchschool.com. Blessed be. Mm -hmm.